How's it going guys? Lucas here. Let me introduce you to the newest addition to the Lazy Panda tools. It's the weaving tool. At the moment it's quite limited, but let me show you what settings you have available right now. First in the list we have the total number, which just means the total number of rows. So if I put a higher number here, you can see the pattern is growing. Second in the list we have the start frame. And this just defines the start frame. So right now everything is starting from frame one. Let's set it to 25 and you can see it's now starting from tw frame 25. The start is defined by a primitive or a point that you put in here. I just have a sphere as a primitive. And as you can see, it's placed at this point here. Well, we can also move it to the middle and you can see everything updates pretty much in real time. So if I play now, everything will grow from the center uh, to the outsides. And third in the list, we have the speed, also self-explanatory, um, just makes it faster. So if I set that to one, it's like, immediately let me actually go back to frame one and you can see it's quite rapid you can make it way way slower like this super slow-mo um or whatever fits your needs and what you like the most i'm very happy with uh 0 25. fourth on the list we have still called label um that will be fixed in the upload but you can switch between proxy sim and full sim Full sim just meaning you have way more strands and way more hairs, so way more detail. If we zoom in right now, you can actually still see a lot of holes, stuff like that. If you only need something from quite far away and you can live with like a bigger hair size, you can probably use the proxy. Um, for my render, I went with the full sim. And this brings it up from like, yeah, you can see now we have 12 million points and before we had a few thousand. You can still see some jagged edges and this is because I want to keep performance high although this like full sim already takes quite some time to calculate um, but in almost all render engines you have the option to subdivide hairs on rendering for example in Redshift you can um, subdivide the hairs. I would highly suggest doing that. If you don't have that option you can of course use this uh, subdivide node afterwards or a resample and make it that way, but that obviously takes way, way more performance. If you want the same result as I had in the intro, um, you can just use a pointy form and a grid that is moving or a cloth sim and those patches here with this pointy form. Yeah, and that's about it for the weaving tool as I said in the beginning. Still very, very simple, um, very stupid tool, but might be useful to some of you. Uh, future updates will have different weaving patterns, um, different growing animations. Most important of all, uh, it will have the option to apply this entire pattern to a UV space of the object. So actually wrapping the object so you can, I don't know, wrap a pick hat and let it grow. Cool. If you have any questions, any problems, let me know on Discord or in the Patreon chats. And see you next time. Cheers.